Okay, this one's an annoying problem, and I say it's annoying because there's a lot of work to do. There's no real shortcut, and we have this chart up here, and we have y, which is a value. Start off with one half, three fourths, five fourths, three halves, and seven fourths. I usually don't have to write this much out because there's some shortcut to work through, but unfortunately, again, not with this problem. In the right column, we have the frequency, the number of times y shows up. This is the, the distribution. So there are two one halves, seven three fourths, eight five fourths, eight three halves, and nine seven fourths. And they want us to find the mean, which means we have to find the total here by adding up all these numbers and the number of times they show up. And that mean, of course, is the total divided by the number of numbers, number of elements. Put the number of elements here. So we're first going to find the top here, which is the total. And to do so, I'm going to multiply like this. So this allows me to find how many halves are there. Well, there's two. So multiply times two gives me one. Over here, we have seven three fourths. And so we add them all together, we get 21 fourths. Here, we have five times eight is 40 divided by four. We have a nice round number 10. Over here, we have the number 12. And here we have the not so nice round number, which is 63 over 4. But of course, good news, there's a 4 there too. So that's going to come together nicely. Let's add 1 plus 10. That gives us 11 plus 12 is 23. Then we want to add these two numbers, 21 fourth plus 63 over 4. So what is 21 and 63? Well, it is 84. Therefore, 84 over 4. Now let's do a little quick math to the side here. If you don't know how to do this, you can use long division, but you should know that, of course. It's 21, so we get 23 plus 21, which gives us 44. That's the total. That's what goes here at the top. Now, what goes at the bottom? Well, the number of elements. And here we have this frequency distribution, so there's two of these, seven of these, etc. So let's just add them all up. 2 and 7 is 9, plus 8, 17, plus 8, 25, plus 9, 34. And now... We can use a calculator because they want the answer to the nearest 0.01. So you type 44 over 34 up here into the calculator, and you end up getting 1.2941. Again, you want to round down to the nearest 0.01, so the answer is 1.29.